If you'd like to see a review of the Canon 55 to 250 millimeter zoom lens like this right here, then stay tuned. This video is for you. I recently released a video reviewing the Canon 90D body along with the standard 18 to 55 kit lens. Now I really liked that combination. It was a lot of fun to get out and shoot with it and I felt that I captured some good photos with it. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to post a link in the description below so feel free to go check it out. But today, it's all about this lens right here. This is the Canon 55 to 250 zoom lens. This thing's a beast when it's fully extended, especially when it's attached to a crop sensor camera like this. Keeping in mind that the 35 millimeter equivalent is gonna be multiplied by 1.6. Now I have this lens partnered again with the Canon 90D body. Again, just really like this body right here and I think this combination is gonna do really well. Like I do with my other videos, I'm gonna start off by level setting and providing a game plan. So where am I? Well, I'm in the northern part of the state of Indiana. My thought is to get up maybe into the southern part of Michigan to go around the dunes up in there, maybe catch, capture some shots of the lighthouse and just whatever we come across. Now today, we're going to have some cloudy skies, but I think it's going to be dry. Now while I was driving up, I pulled over on the side of the road because you might be able to see behind me here, it's a windmill farm. Now this isn't something you see every day. And even in the state of Indiana, I don't see it that often unless I come up in this direction. So it's just kind of cool when you look at it, it looks like a bunch of propellers stuck on sticks in the ground. But it's really used to harness the energy of the wind, so it's actually really cool. And I think behind me right here is some kind of bean field of some sort. But it's just very cool out here, it's very serene and it is peaceful. Now this isn't my stopping point obviously, but I thought this might be a good point to start this video and maybe capture some shots here of maybe the field and uh, maybe some of these windmills behind me, we'll see. Now all of my shots I'm going to take in raw and for the most part I'm going to stay in aperture priority unless it gets dark and then I might go into manual mode but we'll just see. And I'm also going to post all that metadata in the upper left hand corner of each image. That'll let you know the settings of this camera that was used to capture that given shot so maybe that can help you out. Now we're going to go out, we're going to have a lot of fun. I don't know how many shots I'm going to get, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to take. But again, one thing I assure you is I'm going to have fun doing it. Now once I'm done out there testing, I'm going to give you a few final thoughts on this lens. So with all that said, I invite you to take a break from your day, relax, unwind, and enjoy this adventure with me. So let's go make it happen. Catch you from the garden, better say prayer. This ain't no place of mercy. It's 
I had a lot of fun shooting this video and taking those shots. I took a bunch of shots on this adventure, uh, more than what I actually included in this video because I just had a lot of them. So it was uh, just a really good time getting out there. What's funny is this, the video and those images were taken probably five months ago or so. They were just sitting on my machine and they were in an archive folder. I almost completely forgot about it. And then I realized why they were sitting in that folder. It's because I had one more component to complete to make this video whole. And that is the closing part of the video. Um, apparently I didn't have an opportunity to do it over the summer. So here I am doing it now. And it's funny because outside it is cold. It is winter. Uh, but it's fun to go back as I was putting this video together and I could see myself with a short sleeve shirt on and just how nice and warm it was outside. So it was just a lot of fun to kind of bring everything together and to go ahead and publish it to YouTube. So hopefully you've uh, enjoyed this video as well. Now, giving you a few final thoughts on this lens, I really liked it. I think that the resulting images were good quality. It was relatively tack sharp, you know, given the zoom range. Um, and that range of 55 to 250 is interesting because on the Nikon side, I've used and reviewed the 70 to 300. And while you have a little greater range in there, you don't really have the wider angle here. So um, it's kind of nice to be able to go from that 70 down to the 55. Uh, but again, overall, I really like this lens and I think it works really well with that Canon 90D. I think it would work well with any of those Canon crop sensors as well. So if you're looking for that kind of zoom range, I would definitely say consider this lens. I think it's a good deal and the results are great. So now like I do with my other videos, check the description below. I'm going to post some links in there. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can do that. I've been doing some TikTok. I don't have a whole lot of videos out there, but if you want to follow me over there as well, you can go ahead and do so. If this video has helped you out and you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. It's called Real World. More often than not, I post videos about photography and technology, but you never know. So until the next video, take care of yourself and be safe.